I found that tradition, comedial art, and storytelling, this kind of ancient traditional ways of doing theatre, are the basis after which you are able to speak any kind of theatrical language. How to use a space, how to communicate universally, how to be objective on a story. Continuously breaking the rules of theatre. But I would like to focus on the meaning of this. What does it mean, Mr. Obuffo? First and foremost, the body reads the most. It's not your standard, like, Stanislavski approach. That he is not someone who's tied by the facts of history. They started traveling all over, and then because of that, they had to invent the grammar lots to, so because they didn't speak French. Not using English means trying to force ourselves to speak in another kind of language. So it was him doing this whole bit in this absurd language, and it was hilarious. You know, so many still see theater as this highbrow art form, and to express that this was a theater for the people. Theater is life, and uh, I want to share my things with others. Dario Fo is an Italian Nobel Prize winning playwright and one of the most influential theater makers the world has seen in the last hundred years. But due to his radical lifestyle and antagonistic perspective, powers that be around the world have tried to keep a lid on his efforts for most of his career. Fo spent his life revitalizing the theater by bringing it back to its roots, the art of storytelling from the perspective of the everyman. So what Fo was talking about was putting the power back into the imaginative process of the actor. And the, the Mistero Buffo plays uh, that, that Fo reworked from actually existing plays is an example of the actor putting his or her personal stamp and imaginative powers into these stories. We are in here. But usually, this kind of work is an uh, outdoor work. No theaters, no stage, no chairs, no islands, no dark. And the ones you're performing are what are called the Mistero Buffo plays, or the comic mystery plays. These mystery plays in the early 15th century could be quite dangerous to perform. And we don't have theater today that's very dangerous. The mother of Jesus, go and stop her. She can't see her son like this, not like this, covered in blood and nailed to a cross. Let me show you. The one who's kind of like, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> The clouds fill <laughs> the sky again. Time started. You need the audience to be with you the entire time. They think audiences light up when they see Mr. Buffo or they see a Commedia dell'arte play and they don't necessarily understand what they're seeing, but there's something so rambunctious about it that you can't help but smile. Ce n'est qu'un début, like the French people say, it's just the beginning.